Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video I've got my Galaxy S22 Plus. Now I've been using this device for around two weeks, and while I'm still working on my full review, I thought I'd go ahead and customize the device exactly how I want it to be. However, I did find some of the built-in launcher options with Samsung One UI a little bit limiting, so I went ahead, done a little bit of research in regards to what I can do. Now, of course, you've got standard Android launchers, icon packs, and some other customization that you can use. However, there's also an application from Samsung themselves called Good Lock. Now, this is a really awesome customization app for Samsung devices, and in my opinion, is one of the most essential and useful applications available for the device. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at what the application is, how it works, what it's good for and if it is actually very useful overall. So let's take a look. Now first things first, the app doesn't come from the Play Store. You have to go to the Galaxy Store on your Samsung device to actually get this application. Now there's a ton of ads, you can click don't show again but they still pop up. Now once you go to the top right hand corner, click on the search options and then you can search for good lock. Now it's going to be the top option that you're going to find and you'll know that because the icon and the fact it's made by Samsung good lock themselves. So once you've got that, go ahead and install it using the bar down at the bottom. Now the Galaxy Store isn't necessarily my preference and I'm not a huge fan of it because as you can see you do get a ton of ads that pop up. Yes you can get rid of them, however when you install any application or come out of and go back into the store itself, you're going to find brand new ads waiting for you so it's not the best experience overall i would definitely stick to the play store but this one you have to get from the galaxy store specifically once it's all installed go into your application drawer and you'll find the good lock application and then once you open it you're going to see a ton of options that you've got available ready to be tinkered with plugins to install and just in general a lot of information so let's break it down so once you first open the application, you have the unit options on the left hand side and you've got a ton of different options in here in regards to exactly what you can do. And then you'll have the family option on the right hand side with again a ton of different options available for you. Now the only difference really between the unit and the family is where it puts the application which we'll get onto. However in the unit options you can see you've got things for the lock screen, quick settings, the always on display or lock screen clock, plus a ton more other options. You've got a ton of things to look at here and tinker around and play with. So for example, if we go into the lock star one, this one is going to be all about customizing your lock screen options. Now, as you can see, you do have some screenshot examples of exactly what you can do. Yes, they are in a different language to my native language, but the application will still work and will still all be correct once installed. Now again, when you click on install, you're going to get more ads, which again, yes, you can get rid of, but it's just a little bit of a shame that they do come up pretty much any time you do anything within the Galaxy Store. Now depending on the application, as you can see down the bottom, it can take a little bit of time to actually install, but once it's all done, you're ready to go, and then you're going to have the option to uninstall it on this one, and that's pretty much it, not the option to open. Now the reason for that is because it actually puts it into the GoodLock application itself. So as you can see here, we've got it installed in GoodLock. When I click on it, it launches it from within the application itself, no need to go into any third party or any other app. And then when you go into the family tab, again, you've got a ton of different options. You've got something like Wonderland for creating your own live wallpapers and Theme Park, which is the application that I'm most interested in because that allows you to install third party icon packs or even create your own icon pack. So if I go into the Theme Park app here, Again, it gives an example of what the application can do with some screenshots. And then again, you do have the option to install down the bottom. And again, some more suggested applications, which I'm not really too interested in. Now, the only difference with this one is once everything is done and ready to go, you're going to have the option of uninstalling and also opening the application as well. And that's because when you go back into GoodLock, while it actually puts it in there, it doesn't actually put it in the GoodLock app. It's basically just a shortcut. If I go into my application drawer, you can see Theme Park is now a specific app within my launcher as opposed to being in the GoodLog application. So when I then go into my multitasking, you'll see that it's going to bring up two separate applications and not do it all through the GoodLog app itself. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. The unit applications go into GoodLog, family installs a third party application on your device from the Galaxy Store. Now what I'm going to do though is go ahead, pick some of the options that I want to do, and then just do a very quick kind of step by step of using some of these options to see exactly how useful they are, how easy they are, and just in general what it does to my overall Galaxy experience. Okay guys, so I've got my screen recording just here from my S22, so let's just take a look at some of these customization options. So first off, going back into the GoodLock application, you can see here that I've gone for Lock Start, Quick Start, and Clock Face. Now this is really all about customizing the lock screen and just in general some of the more sort of always on display side of things, some clock options as well, and also the Quick Settings panel. 
In the family option, I've gone for Wonderland, which is creating live wallpapers, and Theme Park for installing my own custom icon packs or creating some myself. So just having a quick look at Lockstar, first you go in, of course it's going to require all of the permissions, so we'll just click on Start for Contacts and all of the information there as well. So we're going to do Lockstar on, and as you can see, we've now got it on. So let's just have a quick look to see what we can do. So we can move around the notifications, we can move around the clock, the fingerprint sensor obviously needs to stay the same, helpful information can move, the quick settings, uh, no they have to stay down the bottom as well. So okay, some stuff can be moved but not necessarily a ton of stuff. So again if you want to have the clock in the corner for example or in the front you've got the option to do so. And then the always on display, again these options can't actually be moved apart from your notifications which you can only get rid of along with the information down the bottom there as well. When you click into this you've got different options in regards to show the charging info or hide the charging percentage for whatever reason and you can then get rid of the smaller icons that you would normally have on your lock screen so a little bit limited in regards to exactly what this one can do lock screen timeout again you can change that which obviously you can do in the main settings themselves so lockstar is okay it's not the most in-depth application that i've seen there are some other options on the play store for example in regards to lock screens and changing and customizing them which i think maybe do a little bit of a better job and also the settings for lockstar i think could just be baked into the actual launcher itself on the samsung device and then we have quick star so this one is going to be for the quick settings so again we're going to turn that on and you can style your own quick panel. So we'll click on for this one. You've got some recommended themes down the bottom here for exactly how it's going to look. Now this is going to be different to the theming options of the device. Obviously with Android 12 you have Material U. This is going to be something completely different. So if you go into My Themes, you can then start, allow for storage of course, and then create a new theme entirely. So... This is a little bit more in depth for this one, which is kind of cool. So if we just click on next, we use the standard wallpaper. And then the main theming options. This is actually creating, so this has actually gone into the theme park application, um, which I think is actually something slightly different to what we were originally in. Obviously, this is just for the quick settings panel. But as you can see, a lot of the applications that you get from Goodlock are sort of integrated with each other or part of the same thing so again with this one visibility of icon indicators okay so this is kind of actually kind of cool if you don't want to have your mobile data you can turn that off and you can see in the top right hand corner that removes the mobile data usage alarm you can change that the wi-fi option you can turn that on and off Battery icon, turn that on and off. So that's actually quite good because for me, I do like having the battery percentage, but I don't necessarily need the icon up there either. So that's kind of cool that you can change that sort of things as well. Clock settings, you can put it to the right, to the left, or hide the clock. Again, kind of cool because for me, sometimes I do like a clock widget on the home screen, for example. So to have the option of hiding the clock instead of having two clocks on there is kind of cool, I guess. AM or PM, again, hide or remove that. So again, a lot of this stuff, I think with a lot of the things with the GoodLock application, is stuff that could be baked into the settings of the S22 Plus, or just in general into the Android settings that is gonna be put on top of any Samsung device. So again, Quick Start is kind of cool. I don't necessarily think I'd be using it all that often though. And then last up, we have Clock Face. And this one is gonna do the always on display or the lock screen. So for this one, we'll do the always on display because that's the one that I use the most. And then it's gonna take you into the clock face application. Now, like I mentioned at the start of the video, this isn't an application that is in your app drawer. It's still within the good lock application itself. So as you can see here, you do have some options to already choose from. And again, there is a ton of options here. I'm a fan of this bike looking one. This one's kind of cool. Can you go in and edit it in any way? I don't think you can. So for some reason there's an edit button but you can't change anything. If I just click on the tick though, applied clock face. So that's now gonna be on my lock screen which we'll have a look at in just a moment because if I do lock my device, it will stop the screen recording. But I'll show an example of what that actually looks like now that I've got it on my always on display. Once you then go back into the application, you've got the option of my clock. You can customize your own clock face. And you can also do it on your watch as well. Obviously, I'm using the Galaxy Watch here as well. So to have the option of doing it on the watch is kind of cool, I guess. So we're going to create new. 
it's pretty limited, I guess. Not necessarily limited, but I think there's more that could be done with that. The index you can change. So it's much like if you've ever created a watch face for Android Wear, for example, it's very similar to that. And yes, maybe a little bit basic, but I'm sure there's more things that you can do, like add specific backgrounds and things like that. Because if you go back into the face options, you can see here that people have some pictures and different color options, even a Lego head there. So there looks to be a lot more sort of options that you can do with the clock face application specifically. But again, I feel this could just be baked into the always on display settings of the S22. Now when we go into the family options, this is the bit that I'm really interested in because for me, I'm not a massive fan of the shape of the icons on my home screen and there's no easy way to change it using the Samsung launcher. So again, for this one, I'm gonna go back into good lock, go into the theme park options, and this is where you can make your own theme. Now, a moment ago when we were in here, we kind of started creating a theme already, which I'm not a massive fan of the way that it kind of integrates two things. I wasn't sure which application I was actually in. However, if we go down to the icon section, you can see that you can then create a new icons. So if I click on that here, you can see that it loads the image. And for me, I want to have round icons, much like you would do on a Pixel device, for example. So if I click on this, you can then change the size of the icons as well, or you can then save it. And I've actually already, for some reason, got one on here called round. So if I click on round and then apply, it's gonna apply the icon pack, although it's just kind of skinning the already existing icons. And now they're round, much like you would find on a Pixel device. However, I do have the Candy Cons icon pack on my device as well. So I want to see if I can actually just use that icon pack instead of creating a new one. However, I'm pretty sure I still have to go and create new. And then is there an option to download? No, install. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look. What about the three dots? change icons so this is going to change individual icons which again i don't want to do and again you can turn on or off the wallpaper so again a little bit unclear in regards to exactly how if we go into the theme options create new theme this is just going to be for the wallpapers and things like that as well keyboard quick panel Surely it has to be in the icon section, right? So apply, so apps, theme settings. Theme is not applied. Okay, great. So maybe I can do it from within the candy cons application. So let's go into here, allow. So again, it won't actually let me. Yeah, there's no option in here either for applying the icons. Okay, so that's a little bit strange for that one. Okay, so after a little bit of research, it was actually right in front of me all along. So if we go back into theme park, icons, create new, you're then gonna have the option for icon pack at the top there. If you click on that, click on candy cons, and then it's gonna install those ones. Although it hasn't necessarily done them for all of the applications, which is a bit strange. So if we now go back, doesn't give us the option to save it like it did before. So let's go back into there again. Click on icon pack. We want the candy cons icon pack. And I'm not sure which one we have to choose here. So again, if I'm using a specific icon pack, Okay, so I thought this was simpler, but I'm guessing not. So if we install, so let's just put candy. See if that saves it for the candy cons one specifically. So it's gonna install and I'm pretty sure it's just applying the icon pack much like it would do normally. So if we now click on, theme has been installed, click to apply. So we now click to apply this one and click on apply. Let's just see if it actually installs any of the candy cons icons which it has so okay the preview is a little bit strange i'm guessing it for some reason it's chosen a ton of applications on the preview that haven't been themed which is why i thought it didn't do it but it has actually done that so again i'm using the stock samsung launcher and i do now have my own custom icons here so again, that's pretty cool. Would it be easier if it was in the launcher itself in regards to just installing an icon pack? 
Well, yeah, a lot easier, but it's good to have the option of kind of going in and just kind of creating your own icon packs for any sort of setup that you want to do, or just in general if you don't like the stock icons that come on your device. And then lastly, we have the Wonderland. So this one is creating your own moving wallpapers. I thought this one seemed a little bit interesting, so it does have some sort of ones that you can already use, but I wanna click on new and just go ahead and create my own. So if I go to my gallery, for example, it's just gonna bring up, okay, so I wanna use a specific picture. So if I use a picture of the beach, for example, let's see how this one does it. So image settings, enable motion, preview, uh, motion effect, on, uh, so there's a ton of different options in here. Okay, let's just have a look and see what happens if we just click on save, which it, well, let me do a particle effect. And this is kind of cool. You can add different things on top of the actual image. So if I now go back, does that set it? Do you want to finish editing? Finish. Okay, so it's not on there for some reason. Let me go back into that. Hold on one second. Gallery, go back down to the beach picture. So image settings, we want to enable motion. Turn that on, preview, motion on. Okay, doesn't actually let me go ahead and save it for some reason so plus if I come up there now if I click on save ah, there we go so beach save set as wallpaper Let's just do the home screen, and then we go back, and there's no motion to it. So again, some of these applications are gonna take a little bit more time and could actually be a video in themselves. So if you guys want a more in-depth video on any sort of application from within the Good Lock app, let me know in the comment section down below. But overall, it's a nice application, but I don't necessarily think it's necessary. Well, it kind of is in this instance, but not necessarily overall. And that's gonna do it guys for this video on the GoodLog application. Now, do I think that it's a good application? Yes. Do I think it's poorly implemented? Well, massively. I think that pretty much all of the options from within the GoodLog app could just be done within the launcher itself. I would make it a much better overall customization experience and a little bit easier for those beginning or just in general those that want to do simple things. I think that customizing your icon pack, for example, shouldn't necessarily be as complicated as it is. If you look at something like the launcher on a OnePlus device, you can just simply go in and change your icon pack. You don't have to download any other applications. For this, I actually had to download or install two different things just to change my icon packs, plus then the icon pack itself, which is three things overall just to change one setting, which I think is a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. I also do think that there are some other options available on the Play Store that may be a little bit simpler to use. So again, I'm gonna try and link some in the description down below. So if you guys wanna customize your Android device and just in general choose any you know custom launchers, icon packs, widgets, or anything like that, I'm gonna try and link some stuff in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm still working on my full review of the S22 Plus, which should hopefully be out shortly. So again, subscribe for that. And once you have subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss the video anytime I upload. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.